Hey gang, Jack Allaire here, uh, back with part two of the uh, pickups video for the Amiga games. Uh, we'll be going over uh, a bunch more uh, today, and let's get to it. I will probably not play this F-16 Falcon. <clears throat> it's a flight sim. I'm not a fan of flight sims, but it does have disc one, and I'm guessing just two. A I've read books shorter than this. And this is the thing with Sims, is that I don't want to... This is crazy. To me. But of course then we've got the... The game, Disc 1, Disc 2. The... Little head-to-head -head option. And a little note in here. A wheel, key if you will, Ooh. I love these things. And then this one actually has a layout, in case you get confused while playing it. Number pad, joystick, before the world of Hotos I'm guessing. But that's pretty cool. From Info Games and Mindscape, Hostage Rescue Mission. Um, <clears throat> from what I'm looking at, um, looks like it's going to be a little bit of an action, or a little bit of an uh, point -click adventure. There might be some action in it though, don't know. And it has got, <clears throat> uh oh, hostage briefing. I was bought at Edge Connector for $34. We'd be happy to hear your comments. I like hostage a lot. I enjoy taking out terrorists. Sometimes I miss and hit a hostage, but that doesn't discourage me. I still have fun. I can only hope that uh, they did not go on to a life in the police force. Uh, nice uh, order manual. Strategy, sports, and adventure. So a little pamphlet walking through some, some stuff that may be coming out. And of course, the game. Now we have ARG. Arg by EA Monster's Revenge And it looks like Hmm looks kinda like a fighting game but kinda not Hmm Let's see what's actually in here A very very tiny book for tiny hands and the game itself so not a lot there weird considering oh it's going on there's one more fold there now you get the full effect and that goes there from US Gold Techno Cop I remember playing this on I think I played this on the Nintendo because that looks awful familiar Awfully familiar. And let's see what's actually in here. We've got the manual and the game, and that is all. Alright, so this one is a classic Advanced Dungeons and Dragons Pools of Radiance, commonly referred to as a gold box. These were the de facto standards. Of PC gaming. Oh, got it upside down. Hang on. There you go. 
these were the standards back then and it's actually kind of cool if you can imagine um, Final Fantasy Tactics before it was Tactics we've got the Curse of the Azure Bonds clue book we've got the Pools of Radiance clue book we have the Pools of Radiance Adventurer's Journal We have the Pools of Radiance product, which I guess are going to be the instructions. We've got another translation wheel. What does it mean? I love translation wheels. If I ever release a game, I'm going to release a translation wheel with it for no reason. A uh, little data card. And of course the game whoop, itself. Pool of Radiance, Pool of Radiance. And the other gold box that is not a gold box is Advanced Dungeons and Dragons Heroes of the Lance, which is a Dragonlance action game. Dragonlance was a offshoot. It was basically a fantasy Wild West. Good guys wore white, bad guys wore black. Neutral guys wore red. But here we have the computer product. How to play it. Oh, it actually explains the characters and everything. That's pretty cool. Oh, we got a receipt. Heroes of the Lance 2720 in 1991. Good to know. And now we have Heroes of the Lance. This game just be. I love it when I find the receipt in there. We will now move on to Hybris, which was $32. And I want to say it's a shooter. Looks like it. Blast through wave after wave, so sounds shooterish to me. And it's got the game. Not even really a manual. Well, instructions. And important. Retain this section. Good thing he did. Another one by Discof Discovery Software, the Sword of Rodan. Which actually looks really awesome. Reminds me of uh, Golden Axe. Of course, we've got Sword of Rodan. We've got one, two, three, three discs. Ah, ah, ah. Chance to win free software. Warranty card. And. Oops. Technical supplement. So how to get it all to work. Pretty cool. And now we've got Fish. An extraordinary tale in illustrated interactive fiction. Which looks really weird. And let's see, what do we have in here? We have a stapled together what on earth? That looks weird. Magnetic Scrolls Adventure King? I don't think we had that one. 
fish save disc. And mission HQ fish. So I'm pretty sure all of that is in in character because it is from that time period. No collection would be complete without a copy of Dragon's Lair. Which I must say, the fact that you could get Dragon's Lair to work. I mean, I know that's saying, holy crap. Mm -mm, we're missing the disc. Oh no. Nope, we're missing the disc. Oh, there it is. Got it. So all six discs. And the poorly folded up instruction manual. Which why you need an instruction manual for Dragon's Lair. I have no idea. So the next one is the fairy tale adventure. And once again, I dig the art. Um, the in-game. So it looks like a straight up adventure game almost. But the cool thing is all the stuff this comes with. So we've got a little map, which is just a little tiny, little tiny guy. And then we've got this monster, which is the exact same map, but like four times as big. And I'm not going to unfold it all the way, but you get the idea. Nice little hand sketch. I love that skeleton. It just cracks me up. Quest and Exploration Guidebook. I just love the detail. It just looks cool. And then, of course, the disc. And, of course, the same disc. Manhunter New York. Which makes me wonder if there was a Manhunter LA. But I don't know what's going on there, but... <laughs> I look forward to finding out. This is a Sierra game. So we know it's going to be crazy. Uh, it's got a marker. 3D animated adventure games. There's a pattern. Official Manhunter field map. An official... Manhunter Field Guide by order of the Orb Alliance for your eyes only. A hint book that is once again bigger than some books I've read. Command and control keys. For me, games with more than one disc. Oh, Boo Sierra. Those are very boring labels. But your games are awesome, so we'll let it slide. Video Animated Adventure Game Reference Card. Warranty registration. Limited warranty. Let's see. Good for 90 days from 1988. Guys, we can order Space Quest. <gasps> we can order the Black Cauldron. My friend used to play. All right, so we are down to our final two and I have held these off. The last one is a game that I have played and a game that I look forward to playing again. It is none other than Alien Syndrome. Oh yeah, see that? Sega. This is when Sega was making good games. They still make good games. Everybody gives them crap, but I'll, I'll stick up for them. But this was uh, basically a run-and-gun shooter. I don't believe it was twin-stick shooter, but 
Um, you run around and shoot the aliens. Unleash arcade action. Ooh, if I can figure out how to open it. And we've got the disc. thing and it's got the instruction menu now th this thing remember how I was talking about the other ones where they had the spots for the the cassettes this one has a spot for a three and a quarter but also five and a half so you could fit a lot of disc in there all right and the last one the one that has had me uh, uh, laughing hysterically and my wife giving me strange looks is Deathbringer. Buy two, get one free. See details inside. Free poster enclosed. And we've got some interesting box. Oh, this is another Cinemaware. It does not say that on the front. Hmm. Weird, but it looks like this is going to be a little, little bit of an RPG. So I look forward to testing this out. The poster is sadly not in there, but we do have uh, disc one and two, so we will be able to play it. And we have the all important instruction manual, so we'll know what we're doing. All right, well, there you have it. Uh, we've taken a look at all of the games. Uh, I'm hoping that within the next little bit, I can actually get uh, the Amiga to output color, uh, which is my big stumbling block right now. Right now, I've got it showing in mono only. Uh, apparently, there is a custom uh, adapter that I need for the back to go from the, the weird 15 kilohertz to make it 30 kilohertz so that the monitors will understand it. I don't know. Some of you who have had Amigas or played with Amigas might know what I'm talking about. I don't because I just kind of skimmed what I was reading, but I gotta do a lot more research to get it actually functional and get it all going. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Hope you liked the games. Uh, a, a few of you guys gave me some good feedback on the previous one, so I know which ones I'm looking for there. Uh, I'm gonna play first. Uh, if any of these jumped out at you, go ahead and uh, throw me a, a message down below, and I'll go ahead and put them in the list to play ahead of the rest. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, as always, play on! <laughs>